Hello, my beautiful kings and queens. Welcome back to the Royal Palace. If you would like to know how to grow your hair with this easy, simple product, keep watching. product review but first before we get into the video i want to say thank you for stopping by my channel if you have not already please like comment share and subscribe hit the notification button so you know when i post a video y'all i really feel like a youtube uh, a youtuber because i never seen it but anyway we're gonna jump right on in whoa, 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 whoa. so i've never used this hair grease y'all see that i i never really used hair grease I use like moisturizers and all that stuff, but it's all the same. Um, a lot of people like this. It's supposed to cause hair growth, uh, maximum strength. It's called African's Best Maximum Strength Super Growth Hair and Scalp Conditioner. It eliminates dryness and breakage. Deep penetrating formula with ginseng. What is ginseng? I don't know made with extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil is really good for African American um, hair. And y'all see, I didn't comb it today because I knew I was going to make this video with this grease and I want to see what it's going to do. So I didn't comb it. I really, I think I have 4C hair. But I'm not too sure. If you know what kind of hair I got by looking at it, then you know, just comment down below. So before we start, here are a few things you're going to need. You're going to need, of course, this product right here. Now, there are other products that come with this. There's like um, shampoo and conditioner that also um, is in the family of this. And it's made by the same company, it's um, African's Best. But I didn't get that, I just got the Super Grow Maximum Strength to see what it's gonna do. Really, I'm looking for um, hair growth and if it's gonna be really strong. How do you tell your hair is strong by when you comb it or pick it? and a lot is not coming out like shedding. That means your hair is very, very strong. A um, few things I need to say is a rat tail comb. I don't have one, obviously. So I got a pick comb. You're gonna need, um, you know, water. Water is always good, just in case you have to dilute it. I've never um, tried this product before, so I don't know if it's gonna be thick or, you know. So I got water, just in case. And also, I have a head scarf. Um, it's not a scarf, it's a, you know, do-rag. But just in case, um, you know, you don't want to use cotton. This is silk, as you, can, as you can see. And yeah, you don't want to use cotton because when your hair rubs up against it, that creates um, split ends and breakage. And that's the opposite of what we're looking for today. So my plan is to use this not only on my hair, but um, for my scalp too. And I want to see if I could do like some uh, um, corn rolls or some twists on my head. I think my hair is long enough, but I don't really know. So I'm going to try it and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so it contains a high blend of sheen African oil. That's really good. Uh, an excellent conditioner. We love conditioners. And moisturizers enhancers. We love moisture. That's great. Helps eliminate dryness and hair breakage. We don't want that. Good. Deep penetrating. Mm. Maximum strength formula. Wow. So, um, yeah. I really want to see what this company can really do for me. African Best, if you're watching me, uh, you know, uh, this video is not sponsored by African Best. But if you like to sponsor me or, you know, anything, I'm always available. My email is in the description just in case you want to. All right, so the directions. They part hair and apply maximum strength super growth to scalp and hair. Uh -oh. 
gently massage into hair. Comb or brush into desired style. Excellent for all hairstyles. Okay, well, we already gonna style that. We just gonna, oh, well, maybe I should do it like tomorrow. Get to it. So first, I'm gonna take my jewelry off. Y'all know I love this. Let's take the jewelry off. Just the ring. Roll up our sleeves, because we're gonna get dirty. Okay, let's open it up. I'm not even playing. <laughs> I have not opened this. Why y'all in the comments? You already opened it, Snoopy. No, I didn't. This is my first time opening. This is a real reaction and product view. Okay. Oh, so my nose right on in here. It smells really good. This is what it looks like. I had it on the side, so this is what it looks like. This is what it looked like. Nice glisten. Glowing. And it smells really good. The smell, you get an A plus. Okay, now we're gonna get a texture. Okay, let's wipe it on. Cause a lot of uh, greases be real thick. What is hitting on? Uh huh, real thick, real nice. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't wanna get too much. Yeah, it's real nice and thick. Mm -hmm. All real smooth, look at that. Fly right on across, look at that. Look at that. Fly right on the chrome. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, y'all. So let's apply this to the hair. They didn't say how to apply it. So I'm just going to, you know, put it on myself. Uh-oh. I'm going to give me a glob much. I'm going to give me a glob. Not that much. Just a glob. You know, because you don't want to overdo it. And I got a little hair. So, you know, not too much. Just a little... Oh. What's the word? How you gonna sing a song? I don't even know the word. I just know the beat. Alright. Uh oh. Am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? Wax on, wax on. No, that's a sponge. Oh god. Oh, it don't leave no, it don't leave a whole lot of residue. I mean, of course, grease, but. It don't leave no residue like none of the stuff put on there. Oh, it is. Look at that. It don't leave a whole lot. You know how you be having greases that you put them on your hand, it'd be a whole lot. It don't leave no whole lot though. Oh, this is good. It don't leave no whole lot. It, is a, it don't leave no whole lot. Y'all, this is. This is good. This is good to me. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. I should have got the whole set. Oh God, you wanna be cheap. Wanna be cheap, just grabbing the grease. Wanna be cheap. Okay, uh oh. Maybe I need to do some more. Maybe I need to do some more. Okay, I'm gonna do some more off camera and then I'm gonna come back to y'all so it'll be good. Okay y'all, so now I put, a, put more in this. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I put more um, of the, uh oh. I put more of the, of the this in of the product. African Grow, Super Grow, Maximum Strength. I did it. Put them on. But for all hair scholars, uh, your hair doesn't grow from the ends, it grows from the root. So we're gonna put some in the root. Um, first off, I wanna start by saying my hair was pre-washed before this video. It was pre-washed before this video. So don't come in my comments, come up on. Oh my gosh, you applied to that Dirty hair. I was, who got dirty hair? Not me. So you wanna take your rat tail comb. Let me tell you something. Tutorial on how to use a pick as a rat tail. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your finger and separate it. So you get that rat tail comb effect. So so you make your brain think you're using a rat tail, but you're using a pick. You're tricking your brain into thinking you're using a rat tail, but really you're using a pick. So what you wanna do is the woman said, put your head to the side and then part it. Uh-oh. So I watched the tutorial how to braid. And he's supposed to. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay, boom. This ain't no enough hair to grip. I don't even know what I'm doing. And I can't, I don't think I could do the three. The, uh, 
What is it? The car robbery? I'm gonna do a twist. Do you see the scalp? Yeah, you see it. Get into it. You see it. Okay, let me see if I can breathe a little bit. Okay, so now we have done with our first bit of bread. And I made sure I did it job a time lapse video so y'all would be saying, you didn't braid your hair, somebody else came in and did it. I did it. It might not be right, but I did it. So what you want to do is, is say apply to the scalp. And this is going to take a little bit. You know, just like, you know, a penny worth, a penny worth. And you just want to, you know what I'm saying? Rub it now. Make it, flip it, rub it now. There you go, boom. We in the game, coach. I said, boom. Take you another penny worth. You don't have to, but I didn't even know. You know? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm actually finna do my own here. Oh my goodness. So, I did it, and we're gonna keep on doing that over and over and over again until my whole head is braided down, and yeah, so I'm gonna do y'all a time lapse, and we're gonna get it. Y'all ready? Okay, to start off my part straight as I could, I used my red tail comb, but then after that I started using my hands just to, you know, fill in the rest, and then after I did that, I went in to begin and braid the hair in a two strand plait twist all the way down until I finish and then went to the next one. Okay, so here I'm going in with the braids, and I got a little tired. Yeah, yeah, right there I got a little tired, but that's okay because you gotta keep on pressing, keep pushing through. If this is your first time doing your own hair or trying to learn how to braid your own hair, keep practicing and keep on trying, and eventually you will get it. Trust me, I did not get it on my first try, but I kept trying, and I finally got it. Okay, here's a quick tip for applying the product. Once you are done finishing a braid, you want to apply it to the scalp. You don't never want to finish your whole head and then apply because that's tiring. What you want to do is finish and then apply it to your scalp as you see me doing right here. It just makes the process more easier instead of just having to go back and apply your product. So it's much easier to do it now instead of later. Okay, so you notice I did not go in with a rat tail comb this time. All I did was finger detangle the part down, and that's fine too. Um, but if you are wearing this as a style and you want it to look neater, you might want to go in with a rat tail comb just so your parts are cleaner and neater. But me, I'm just wrapping it up with a head scarf when I finish going to bed and taking it out in the morning. Um, I'm not wearing this as a style, so it really didn't matter how it looked. But if you are wearing this as a protective style for a few days, then you might want to go in with a rat tail comb just to have that extra finish touch. If 
like I said, your hands and fingers are going to cramp and hurt, but it's okay to take you a break. But after that little five second, 10 second break, you get right back into it and keep pushing and keep going. You got this. So I'm still braiding tight as I can. I want y'all to look at those parts. They might not be as neat as possible, but they are very tight is what I can compliment myself on is that these braids were really tight and they might not be the neatest, but they still, they look all right to me. What y'all think? Let me know in the comment section. Okay, everybody, so I'm done with the first three braids. Can y'all see them? I did three. And my clip camera's off. So I can y'all see I'm breathing heavy. I'm gonna put this on a phone on it. I'm just gonna put grease in. We already applied some to the hair. So now we're just doing the scalp. So now I'm done with three. I've put the um, product on the scalp. I'm going to turn the camera off and the next time you see me, my hair will be like this. And uh, I don't look, I look, I'm going to have. And I'm going to have all my hair braided and with the product. All right. All right. Okay, y'all. So after all that time of Okay, don't try to flame. I'm just going to sleep in. That's all. I did these myself. I was playing for black men can braid their own hair. And I did. It might not be right, but I did. So now I got this little piece. That I will try to see. And I'm going to do it for y'all. Another quick tip I want to give to you guys, when you're braiding your edge pieces, sometimes, depending on the length of your hair, it may be a little bit harder to grip because sometimes you might not have a whole lot of hair like me because I don't have a whole lot of hair. So I had to grip it much harder than I had to do with the, you know, middle braids. But just a heads up. <laughs>
I do. Add a little more green and you know what I'm saying? So now it is time to go ahead and start our last step, which is wrap it up. So what you wanna do is take a blue rag. Guys, fellas, men, y'all know how to do this with your good old do-rag. Do-rag tutorial. I just gave so many tutorials in this video. Okay, tie it up. Pull it, put it down. Put it in order. African fed, Mexican shrimp, super gross. So in the morning, I'm gonna take this off, take the braids out, and show you guys the results. Uh, we're looking for hair growth. I mean, we can't see hair growth in the night. Um, but over time, if you keep on watching my channel, then you will see the growth. So you guys, make sure you keep watching the videos that's coming after this. Um, if you haven't already, like I said, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Okay, y'all, so I took the ball out, so I'm gonna come out and get ready. And I'm gonna let y'all see, this is a twist out. So if you want your hair to be like this, you can keep it in this style. So I'm gonna comb it out. So I'm gonna keep this in this style. So yeah, I will be back really close and hair combed out. And we're gonna end it. Alright? Okay, you guys, we are back. And this is the finished product. I did comb it out, as you can see. Um, yeah. So, this is the product once again. And you don't have to apply this every day since it's so thick and rich. Um, combing it out, it was kind of hard because this is you know, in my head. It's because it's very thick. You know? But, um, yeah. I would suggest this to you. You don't have to use it every day, twice, three times a week will do. Um, but every, you know, every now and then, don't forget to wash it out. You don't want to, I don't think this is a leave-in product, you know. And I don't think any greases are leave-in products. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we're washing our hair and um, getting it all out. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more product reviews and more hair care routines, please, please let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram or email. It'll be right there. Don't forget, what I always say, love, joy, and peace. If you don't have those, what do you have? Until next time we meet again in the Royal Palace, good night.